Hey everyone, I made this video for someone who's just been diagnosed with hypothyroidism. If that's you, over the next couple minutes, I'm gonna answer a lot of questions and tell you some things you need to know right now. However, I know there's probably also some people that are watching that already know that they have Hashimoto's. Now, if that's you, you don't need to watch this video. You wanna watch this video, and I'm gonna to link to it right here. So you, you're watching this right now because you've just been diagnosed hypothyroidism. Why does that matter? Like, wh why have I made this video? Well. The main reason I made this video is because there's a 90% chance that you have something called Hashimoto's. Now, Hashimoto's is an autoimmune thyroid condition, and it is a big deal. And so right now, we've kind of got a uh, decision time, right? We have to decide, are you going to get checked for Hashimoto's or are you not going to get checked for Hashimoto's? Okay, let's talk about option one. Option one is you could just take the hormones that you need, right? This levothyroxine, and the Synthroid. Uh, take those four, five, six months, and if look, if you're feeling 100% better, then you probably won't need to do anything else I'm going to talk about in this video. And and frankly, you're you're pretty lucky because most people that have hypothyroidism have this condition called Hashimoto's, but your doctor may not have checked for it. In fact, uh, most endocrinologists and most primary care physicians aren't going to check you for Hashimoto's. Why? Because they're not going to treat you any differently if you do have Hashimoto's. But you need to know this, that Hashimoto's is different than not having Hashimoto's. Hashimoto's means you have an autoimmune problem, and that means your immune system is attacking you. And I have a whole bunch of videos that explain how your autoimmune problem can expand and attack other tissues. And it's really important right now that we decide, or you decide, are you going to get checked for Hashimoto's or not? I think that you should. So. Road A is don't get checked for Hashimoto's, just take the Synthroid, uh, the levothyroxine, and if you're feeling 100% better in six months, hey man, awesome. But I will tell you this, if at any point after that you start to not feel good and you start to have low thyroid symptoms, even though your TSH is okay and even though you're taking those thyroid hormones, circle back to this video and it's time to get checked for Hashimoto's. Okay, now, road two is being proactive and really not really making a mountain out of a molehill, there's a really good chance you have Hashimoto's, especially if uh, like your mom also has a thyroid problem or your sister has a thyroid problem. Chances are it's probably Hashimoto's. It's the most common organ specific autoimmune condition in the world. And you know, there is a spectrum of it, which I'll explain in just a second, but it is really important that you get checked for Hashimoto's. How do you get checked for that? Well, there's two antibody tests that you can run. One is called thyroid peroxidase antibodies and the other is it's called thyroglobulin antibodies. You need to have both. If one or both of those is elevated, it means your immune system is attacking your thyroid gland. If you have hypothyroidism and then you have Hashimoto's antibodies, that's telling you what's doing it. You have an autoimmune cause of your hypothyroidism. And you still should take the Synthroid or the levothyroxine because you are not able to make an, an adequate amount of hormones. So you need to take them. But that's really only about 10% of the solution. Now remember, your PCP, your endocrinologist, they really don't care if you have Hashimoto's or not because they don't have anything to offer you to deal with the autoimmune problem. But it's really important that you understand right now that, you know, I'll just give you an example. Like I see a lot of Hashimoto's patients every month and every one of them is taking thyroid hormones like they're supposed to. And almost every single one of them has a TSH that looks normal and they have a, a T4, a free T4 that looks normal, but they still have symptoms. Now, unfortunately, their primary care and their endocrinologists usually chalk up that to some other problem or depression. They say, hey, your TSH is normal, you can't have a thyroid problem, but that's not correct. So you have to understand that there are two kinds of thyroid problems and Hashimoto's creates both of them. The first one is a quantity problem where you don't make enough hormones and secondly, a usage problem. Now I'll explain it like this. Blood tests can tell you how many hormones are floating around, okay? but it can't tell you if you're using the hormones. Whether you use the hormones or not is the function of your thyroid hormone receptors, and they live inside the nuclei of your cells. And the number one thing that can block and make those things malfunction is inflammation. So what can happen is you can have normal TSH, normal T4, but not be functioning or feeling like they're normal. Okay, that's a usage problem. And Hashimoto's loves to create that because Hashimoto's is an inflammatory problem. Now, I could spiderweb off into a lot of different things, but since you've just been diagnosed hypothyroid, you need to decide, am I going to get checked for Hashimoto's or not? Now, if you get checked and the antibodies come back, you need to immediately be working with someone that knows what that means. Now, 
again, your endocrinologist who means well, the PCP who means well, they're probably not going to do anything for it. They're even going to tell you things like your diet has nothing to do with it, which is not true. Uh, there's nothing you can do for it, which is not true. So you immediately are going to have to work with an additional someone who already knows and understands about Hashimoto's. And if I were you, I have a whole library of videos on Hashimoto's that I think you'll find very helpful uh, and very useful because there are things you can do with diet, with nutrients, with supplementation that can make a huge difference on your Hashimoto's, improve symptoms, prevent autoimmunity from expanding, but only if you're working with someone that knows those things. Now what that means is you're going to have to be working with a doctor that already knows all of this because beyond just the Hashimoto's antibodies testing, there's other testing that you need to do to understand what is your particular flavor of Hashimoto's because even though you have Hashimoto's and it's a really common autoimmune problem, your phenotype or immunophenotype is unique to you. Now what I mean by that is we all have our own fingerprint, right? Well, we all have our own immune system fingerprint. So even though you have Hashimoto's and you've got the elevated antibodies and it can cause a lot of the same symptoms from person to person, how you treat it specifically and how to get control of your immune system really depends on what it, your immune system is doing or what is your immune system fingerprint. So in addition, I just want to say that you've got to get immunophenotyping test done, uh, testing done. Uh, and I also would highly recommend multiple tissue antibody testing done to find out if you already have additional autoimmune problems you didn't know about because it takes about seven to 10 years to finally get diagnosed with Hashimoto's. Like, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna summarize for you, right? You've been diagnosed hypothyroid, you haven't had the Hashimoto's test, are you gonna get tested or not? You can go down this road, take the hormones, and if you feel great uh, in six months or you continue to feel great for the rest of your life, don't worry about it. But if you go down that path and you start to not feel good, even though your TSH looks good, even though your T4 looks good, I would circle back and start wondering, man, I wonder if I have Hashimoto's and you got to go through the process of getting tested and working with a doctor who understands all this. The other path is to be proactive and say, look, there's a 90% chance I have it. Let's confirm it and then let's start taking the steps to control it because Hashimoto's can create a usage problem and make you have depression, anxiety, gut problems, weight gain, muscle pain, brain fog, even though your TSH is okay and even though your T4 is normal, right? So you get to decide. So that is what I wanted to share with you for someone who's just been diagnosed hypothyroid. I hope you found it helpful uh, and I have a whole bunch of other videos on Hashimoto's to help you out as well. Okay, see you next time.